Hello and welcome to the MFE demonstration of velocity profile measurements from wall to center line using the Mini LDV and Flow Lab tabletop water tunnel. In this video, I will show a brief overview of our Flow Lab and Mini LDV, followed by a demonstration of the Mini LDV sensor taking measurements inside of the flow of a jet flow test section. The Flow Lab benchtop water tunnel seen here is used to demonstrate flow characteristics in small scale research projects. It can generate all classical fluid mechanics flows, such as laminar and turbulent flows, flow across a flat plate, cross jet, and jet flow, to name a few, using the various test sections, some of which will be shown. The Flow Lab system is an unpressurized closed circuit flow loop. The Flow Lab is offered with interchangeable 2 inch by 2 inch by 24 inch test sections. We have here a test section with a hydrofoil model installed. The hydrofoil can be adjusted to various angles of attack. This plug can be removed and replaced with other models to demonstrate other flow characteristics. In addition to the hydrofoil, there is also a blank plug, a cylinder, a plug which allows a shear stress sensor to be flush mounted to the flow lab, and the option for custom plugs to be made. So I've unscrewed the 12 screws except for this last one, and now I will exchange this test section with this one. I've just finished replacing 11 of the 12 screws on either side of the test section. The Mini LDV system consists of the Mini LDV probe, the processing engine, both seen here, and the 1D burst processor acquisition software package. Here is a brief overview of how the LDV works. This illustration shows the Mini LDV probe with the two split beams converging. The crossing region is called the probe volume. Because the two arms come from the same beam, when they cross, an interference pattern is generated. These stripes are called fringes. The fringe spacing distance is fixed. As a particle travels through the probe volume, it reflects light into the receiver within the probe. The signal is processed through various steps, and the speed of that particle is calculated and time stamped. Here is a photograph of the converging beams and the mini LDV probe. The Mini LDV probe seen here is mounted on a traverse. This indicator here shows how it should be aligned relative to the flow. The Mini LDV probe has been connected to the processing engine, which is connected to a laptop with the data acquisition software. The Flow Lab can be furnished with manual or automated traverses, both seen here. This is essential for profile measurements such as the one we are demonstrating from the wall to the center line. Here you can see the automated traverse moving the probe to various points. Now that our equipment is set up, we will start the flow lab and then begin acquiring data.
I will now give a brief overview of the data acquisition process. The software is divided into two basic sections. The single point acquisition tab, which is seen here, and the profile acquisition tab, which can be selected in the upper left hand corner. This single point acquisition tab is used to initially configure the processing engine and to manually start and stop acquisition. When the single point acquisition tab is selected, four principal items are visible. The histogram plot, the history plot, the processing engine control, and the plot update rate checkboxes. The profile acquisition tab, which is shown here, is used to set up the traverse controllers in profiles as well as perform profile acquisition. Each tab is dominated by gray boxes that show live data statistics as acquisition ensues. When the profile acquisition tab is selected, five principal items are visible. The histogram plot, the history plot, the profile plot, the profile control, and the traverse control. The histogram and history plots are identical to those in the single acquisition tab. The traverse control shows the motor controller's status as well as the selected traverse. Its assigned orientation and the current position as reported by the motor controller. When all of the parameters are entered into the profile acquisition setup, including start and end position of the traverse, as well as incremental distance between each measurement point, we begin to acquire data. Using the data acquired, this plot was rendered to illustrate the flow. The result is a velocity profile of the cross section of the jet flow test section from one wall through the center line and onto the opposite wall. This concludes our demonstration. If you have any questions, please contact me or visit our website. Thank you.